So there's part D, we are now past halfway. Let's have a look at E. Um, by examining the concavity. So we've kind of already been doing this because it is the easiest way to answer questions about acceleration um, when you get given a graph, or for that matter, when you're given an equation. By examining the concavity, find the time interval. Okay, this is interesting. So, um, so far in the questions A, B, C, D, they've been asking us when, when this, when this. So that's kind of um, usually an, an instantaneous moment in time. Um, but because they're asking for, hmm, what color have I not used yet? Brown. They're asking for a time interval. So this is from when to when. That, uh, an interval has to have a start and an end point, right? Or end time, I should say. So find the time interval during which the particle's acceleration is negative. Particle's acceleration is negative. So because this corresponds to concavity, we're thinking about when is the graph concave down. Now, I chose orange, but I've actually, sorry, I've chosen brown, but I've actually used orange already to describe part of this, right? Because if you have a look, um, I started to look at this section over on the left where it was concave down. So I can just kind of continue that work and that will complete my answer, right? So if I continue over here, this part here, and then I guess, uh, the orange section continues to here until we reach that um, point of inflection, which is where there is zero concavity. This entire orange orange section is concave down. It's, it's a little bit like if you were to draw a parabola through that, right? It's like, oh, um, I've got this concave down. Oh, that's really hard to see. Let's make it a bit thicker. Um, I've got this whole concave down section looking here, right? Um, I always go back to parabolas because I'm really, we've been using them for years, so I'm much more comfortable with them. So this orange section now, I'll just get rid of that awkward parabola. That's the part I'm interested in, right? So it's before time six is what I'm, uh, what I'm going to answer to uh, part E. This is the time interval during which the particle's acceleration is negative. I'll write that down and then we'll just quickly interpret that. So, party, I went to this fat marker here. Party, acceleration is negative. Between zero and six seconds. Um, there's, my, there's my interval, my time interval. Um, this makes sense because if you have a think about this, right? Um, the question, is saying when is the particle's acceleration negative? Well, in this whole orange section, right, your velocity is in the positive direction, but you can notice that you're sort of slowing down at this point, right? Your velocity is positive, but it's less and less positive until you get to here because your acceleration is against your direction of uh, motion, right? So because you're accelerating against that, that's what slows you down. Um, Colloquially, we might use the word deceleration, but that's quite um, ambiguous in a context like this. You're accelerating in the negative directions, that slows you down. And then at this point here, you keep accelerating in the negative direction, which is when why the particle starts to pick up speed in the negative direction, okay? All right, so we're really on the home stretch now. Um, we've just done part E, so part F says, at about what times are uh, the displacement, the velocity, about the same as those at time two. So we have to say this approximately because we're going to be doing some, um, some rough reading of the graph. And like we said before, we don't have equations, so we can't solve this precisely. We just have to sort of eyeball it, right? So the first thing to ask is, um, well, where are we at time two? On the graph, what's happening at that point? So I'm gonna delete off all of this previous working. I think I've like used up all of the colors that I, I had. So I'm just gonna go back to blue now. Uh, time two, where is that on here? Well, um, just like earlier when we were looking um, at other time intervals here, um, I've only got multiples of three, so I'm gonna have to put on time two here. So um, you can see here, I've got, if I make that three, so that's probably, I think that roughly breaks us up, that little spot into thirds. So that would make this one and this two. So now I'm gonna go up to the corresponding point on my displacement graph. So um, that's going to draw all the way up and you would use a ruler obviously to do this if they handed this to you um, on a piece of paper. You use a ruler and you go up to there and you can see, oh, this is when, um, this is where I am rather. This is where I am and I need to find where I'm at the same position and also where I'm at the same velocity, okay? Um, let's do them one at a time. So position, displacement, um, is, is what this graph tells you about, right? It's a, it's a displacement graph, okay? So to know when I'm at the same 
displacement, I just need to know when am I at the same place um, vertically speaking, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw across uh, a line horizontally. I'm only going to draw to the right because it's pretty clear to see that there's no point um, to the left on the graph anyway, um, any earlier point in time where this happens. So when I draw this um, horizontal line, you can see that at this point here, or at this time I should say, and at this time over here, um, that's where we seem to be at this same displacement. I don't even know what this that displacement is. I mean, if I had to guess, um, you know, it looks something like it would be around seven. But the question doesn't ask me, like, what is that actual place? It just asks me when am I at that same place? And that's what I get uh, from this horizontal line that you can see drawing across, okay? So now that I have these two spots, uh, I'm going to draw downwards, uh, let's choose pink, um, to my time axis, like so. Again, you would use a ruler for these so that you could get it reasonably precisely. Okay, so again, because this is approximate, even though it's not bang on, um, I'm going to say, look, this point here looks like it's going to be about time four. Um, and this point here looks like, even though it wasn't precise, um, that was probably down to the thickness of my dot or my, or my line, um, that looks like it was intended to land on the 12. Okay, so I'm going to say, um, about what times are the displacement about the same as time two? It's at time four and time 12. So this is part F part one, um, so at, um, or rather, after, what did we say, four seconds and 12 seconds, I think we said, yep. After four and 12 seconds, so that's the question of when I'm at the same displacement. When you're looking at part two, they're asking a question about velocity. Now, um, we've already said this earlier in the question, but I need to remind you that Velocity is about uh, slope. It's about the, the steepness of this graph, right? So you can see here, I'm looking for what the gradient of this curve is. That will tell me dx on dt, which is velocity. Uh, now my graph is already looking very busy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clear all this off. Um, you can see the value, by the way, of using multiple colors and also the importance of having a graph that's big enough to put lots of information on because I presume you don't wanna redraw this graph over and over again, um, which I have the benefit of doing because of technology. So um, I, I actually rubbed off more than I meant to. So you can see I actually want time two to still be there. So I don't need this either. So there's my time two. And what I'm looking for is um, the slope of this line, right? So I'm guessing if I were to eyeball it, something like that. I think this uh, blue highlighted line here, um, its slope roughly represents a tangent line to the curve. And so its gradient, which gives me velocity, um, I'm looking for another place where the gradient is the same. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, this part here, this line, um, this little interval. I notice for earlier times, all of these times, the particle is moving faster in the positive direction, it's steeper, right? So they're, they're no good. As I move to the right, you're like, oh, well, these parts here, um, it can't be possibly any section in here because, um, you know, you look at where my tangent is, it's got a positive gradient. And all these sections in here, there's a negative gradient, so that's no good. Um, you can see over here, it's too steep. So what I'm looking for is that point along here, at some point, I'm going to find that this same gradient would be also tangent to the curve. And as you can start to approach down here, you can see this looks like this is the spot that's bang on. Um, how would you do this when you don't have an iPad that you can just move around? Um, you would usually use a ruler, right? In exactly the same way that I got the tangent line over on that sp spot there, I would place my ruler there in exactly the same way and then look for where the ruler, um, I would move the ruler along in a parallel fashion until I find this other point here which gives me something with a, a parallel tangent, okay? In fact, what I'll do is, um, just so that you can highlight that, um, what I'll do is I'll just duplicate it so you get another one, okay? So I hope that you guys can see that uh, this tangent would be rough, if, well, I mean, I've driven, drawn them exactly parallel, so um, I'm gonna say that looks like about there, right? Which again, um, approximately reading down, that looks to me, uh, you know, if that's nine and then uh, I guess that would be 10 because you would put 11 just a little bit further. So that I'm reading as time 10. So I can now say the velocity is about the same after about 10 seconds. So I'm going to write that down here. Um, I, might, I might distinguish as well between this question and the previous one because this is displacement is um, approximately equal.
after that amount of time because the question I'm doing right now is not about displacement, it's about velocity. Velocity, just so you don't have to sit there watching me write this, is approximately equal after, we said 10 seconds on the graph. We'll stop. 